How's it going everyone? So in this video, we'll do a workout, how to grow your fingers um, longer. Follow these exercises, just follow me as I do them and just literally copy what I'm doing and uh, your fingers will grow longer. So the thing why people usually have short stubby fingers, obviously you can't grow them super, super long, but you can increase them a little bit by doing simple exercises. So the first exercise I'm gonna show you is gonna be finger extensions. So what you do is get your hands, and you extend them like this. Six, do 20 reps. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, we'll take a 15, 20 second break and then we'll do a different exercise. This is gonna be about a 20, 30 minute workout or so. And by the end of it, it will help your fingers. You wanna do this about every other day. The next exercise that I recommend to do is an exercise where you curl your fingers. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get blood flowing and we're trying to work our fingers out as much as possible to try to get them to grow longer. So what you're gonna do is get your hands like this and you're just gonna squeeze 10 times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 20 second break, and then we'll do the next exercise. I am gonna be coming back to these exercises, so um, we will be doing them again and again, and I'll just be constantly switching them up. And trust me, when this is done, your fingers are gonna be pretty sore, but that's good because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get blood flowing to them. The next one is a claw stretch. So what you do is you get your fingers, you curl them really tight. Big difference between doing this and doing this now, because before we were going like this, we we're making kind of a big curl. Now it's super tight. You're literally like this. You're gonna do this and you're gonna hold for 10 seconds. You should feel it in your fingers when doing this. Again, really make sure they're really tight like this. That's kind of what we're trying, uh, what we're trying to get at. a little break and then I will show you guys another exercise. Um, there'll probably be about five or six different exercises and then what we'll do is we'll just keep constantly mixing different ones in and we'll do a little workout. So the next one that I recommend to do is going to be actually a stretch. All the exercises so far have been kind of like us actually moving our fingers. Um, this one is a stretch. So we're going to get our fingers like this and all we're going to do is we're going to pull back. There should, you feel, should feel no pain. Do not do not pull too hard that you feel pain, no pain at all. And hold this stretch for about 10 seconds. So again, all we're doing is we're just holding like this. Next hand, do the exact same thing. Again, just pull back and just hold for roughly about 10 seconds or so. Perfect. Okay, 20 second break, and then we will do um, some more. Okay, so this next exercise is another stretch, and then once we do the stretches, I'll go to do some other ones. This next one, you're gonna interlock your fingers, and then you're gonna stretch like this. Again, no pain associated, but by doing this, we're stretching all of our fingers. And again, try to really interlock them. So basically your thumbs are the only ones that should be free. And you're gonna hold this stretch for another 10 seconds. Perfect. A uh, little bit of a break, and then we will do another exercise. Your fingers should get a little bit sore doing this. They actually might get a lot because we're, this is actually quite a bit of volume to be doing if you don't normally work out your fingers. So we're gonna do squeezes now. So 10 reps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. A little bit of a break and then we'll do it again. So yeah, these are great exercises. Um, a, a lot of people wanna get longer fingers. I know I get a lot of comments for the two main ones 
or basketball players and people typing. Um, a lot of people are, say they have short fingers, they want to get them longer because basketball and typing usually. Those are the, I get a ton of comments about that. So let's do finger extensions, 20 reps. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 13, 14. Perfect, a little bit of a break and then we'll do another one. But yeah, a lot of people are really reluctant uh, to, to actually try these different exercises out. They just automatically think, oh yeah, that's impossible. You can't do that. You can get blood flowing and that's how you make things grow is by actually getting blood flowing to it, working it out. Just like with jaw muscles, if people are looking to get skinnier faces, I always tell them to do certain types of exercises because that can actually activate some of the muscles. That can actually help you down, uh, help you to get them better. Okay, claw stretch, so go like this. Again, really tight squeeze and hold like this for about 10 seconds. And again, this is an easier, I'm making this workout easy for you guys. I'm doing 20 seconds. Um, I, I do longer, or sorry, I could make this way more difficult by only doing five second rest periods. But for a lot of you people, uh, that do not work out your um, fingers normally, they're gonna be very sore even from having a 20 second break. So I don't want you guys to be like just destroyed. I want your uh, fingers to be a little bit sore but not super, super destroyed. So you can train them the next day. So let's do finger extensions again. I really like finger extensions. So you'll notice in this video, we might do lots of them. It's because they really, really work. Again, do roughly about 20 repetitions or so. And we'll take a little 20 second break and then we'll do the next one. Comment below too, um, if you guys have did the whole workout, I wanna see um, I wanna see how many of you guys have actually did the whole entire workout. Okay, uh, we'll do um, the, the stretches now, so we're just stretching like this. Then we'll do the other one. Perfect. A little break. Okay, we'll do squeezes. So one, two, four. I'm gonna show you guys another exercise too that you can do. Okay, this next exercise, you're individually working out every single finger. So I'm not gonna show you on every single finger. I'm just gonna kinda show you how to do it. It's kinda like a stretch exercise. What you do is you just get one finger and you just bend it back just a little bit. So what you do is you just get this finger, you kinda put, put your thumb right here, put it on the top, and then you kinda just bend it back like this. So this stretches each one out individually because a lot of times when you're doing this one, you may not be stretching all of them um, equally. So by doing this, each one gets stretched out individually. You don't have to do 10 sets. All you do is just do it once or twice around and then that, that counts for the set. Uh, so we will now do the claw stretch. So go like this, hold for 10 seconds. Perfect, 20 second break. Halfway through the workout, I'll probably keep it at 20 minutes. If you guys really, really like this video, I will make a much, much harder one. Uh, basically, instead of 20 second rest periods, it would be about 10 second rest periods. Instead of being 20 minutes, it would probably be about 45 minutes. So it would be for like someone who's done these exercises before and their hands are kind of accustomed to them. So let's do extensions. One, two, three.
Perfect, a little bit of a break. And if you guys are wondering what's in here, I am drinking coffee. I am cutting weight right now. I am losing weight, so I'm almost a week done my first uh, uh, first week of cutting weight. So I am, uh, usually I would drink four or five cups of coffee. I'm only drinking two. Okay, um, claw stretch, 10 seconds. I actually almost forgot. The reason why is because coffee is, coffee itself is okay, but I put two sugar and one cream and the sugar and the cream are basically empty calories. So they don't really provide much other than a, other than a quick boost of energy. So they're not really, you don't want to be consuming a lot of calories with, um, empty calories, but, um, yeah, it's been pretty good almost on my second week. Okay, a little bit of a break and then we'll do it again. But again, comment in the comment section. Let me know if you guys did the whole workout start to finish and let me know if you guys wanna see another more harder video. Okay, so we're gonna do stretching. So stretch your fingers for 10 seconds. And again, each hand for 10 seconds, not all together, each hand individually for 10 seconds. Perfect. So 10 second break and then we'll do another exercise. So we'll do squeezes. Really like squeezes. That's a great exercise to do for your fingers. Really get some working and it actually will work your forearms too. So it's a great overall exercise to do. Okay, we will do the, the interlocking hands. So interlock your hands, just thumbs are free. And then hold this stretch for about 20 seconds, a little bit longer. Uh, usually it's been 10 seconds, hold for 20 seconds. And again, all these stretching exercises, there should be no pain. Don't do it if you feel any sort of pain. Like right now, I feel zero pain at all. It actually feels very nice to be stretching um, my fingers right now, but I feel no pain at all. Okay, a little bit of a break. Okay, claw stretch. So we're gonna hold for 20 seconds, not 10. So I am making it a little bit harder near the end just to kind of really fatigue the muscles. But um, yeah, just a little bit, a little bit harder. Perfect. A little bit of a break. Okay, so we're gonna be doing finger extensions, 30 reps instead of 20. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Okay, we'll do curls, so, or sorry, squeezes, 15 reps, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, okay. A little bit of a break, we'll do it again. Stay. 
stay uh we're almost done five more minutes and then it's done uh near the end the next near the end of the vid which is only another five minutes or so um two or three exercises i'll do no rest period so i'll just do them back to back to back and that'll really fatigue the fingers and again these exercises will help to get the blood flowing so again 30 reps Perfect. Okay, claw stretch, hold for 15, or sorry, 20 seconds. Okay, a little bit of a break. Okay, stretching now. So interlock and then hold the stretch for 20 seconds. Perfect, little break. Okay, we'll do squeezes. Fifteen reps. A little break. And again. Comment in the comment section. Let me know if you guys did the whole workout from start to finish and let me know if you guys want for me to make another one, but harder, like 45 minutes and um, like very limited rest periods, like five, 10 seconds. Trust me, that is very hard when you have very, very low rest periods like that. <clears throat> okay, so I think I'm gonna start right now. We're gonna do three exercises back to back to back. First one we're gonna start off we're gonna start off holding it for 20 seconds, the claw stretch. So again, hold for about 20 seconds and then again, back to back to back, no, um, no rest at all. Okay, now we're gonna do squeezes, do 15, four, eight, Now extensions, finger extensions, 40 reps. So bear, the most we've done so far in one set, seven, eight, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I don't know about you guys, but my fingers are sore. Four, 25, 26, 27, 9, 40, oh my god, okay, one more exercise since we have time, interlocking fingers and hold for 20 seconds, oh my god, my fingers are sore, that last one was hard, doing 40 repetitions, perfect, Okay, you guys, that is the workout. Um, again, what you're trying to do with these exercises, you can pick any exercises you want. I find these are the best ones. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get blood flowing. Obviously, blood is flowing through your fingers right now, but it's good to get extra. Just like um, if you're trying to work your muscles out, um, your biceps, your chest, working your fingers can allow you potentially to get them longer. So you gotta work them out. 
End of video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please follow me on Instagram, Dillenberg999. Thank you.